It's a late one. Hello, my friends. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. This is going to be one of those odd walk and talk videos that I am typically known for in an audio space that is not typical. Most reviewers and audio folks that we all watch and know and love and appreciate, and sometimes we don't appreciate them. That's okay. Everything's choice. They don't do this. They have their home behind them. They usually sit in front of their speakers or sometimes behind their speakers if they're doing unboxings. Or sometimes they talk about everything that's at uh, Cedia or Expona or Florida Expo or Munich Hi-Fi. You know, that's the typical Hi-Fi thing. Me, my channel's small still. I have to earn my way to those positions. Now, that's not to say that I don't have the same knowledge level as most of them. In some ways, I might actually have more knowledge than most of them because I actually worked for a brand before. I worked and assembled hi-fi amplifiers. I've worked and seen how the R&D labs work at a global brand. I've been in the hobby for 27 plus years and my passion drove me to join almost every group possible except the ones that are filled with rude and obnoxious, judgmental, critical people. <laughs> I don't really like that part of the hobby, to be honest, but I guess there's people like that in no matter what you do. Everybody has an opinion and they have a freedom to express that opinion, even if it's rude. So that's just the way it is. So anyways, a little bit of background there. Yes, I did work for a global brand. I don't say their name anymore because they didn't want me advertising for them. So I don't. But believe me, they're popular. They're an old brand. One of their sister companies makes electrostatics. If you could figure that out, I just won't say the name. So where do I go from here? Um, the reason why I'm doing this video, walking home from work, because I work till 2 in the morning, which means also when I get home I can't listen to music, and also means I sleep during the day, so when I get up from, you know, my, my nap, as I call it, because I work 10 hours a day, I don't have a whole lot of time to do audio stuff during the day, and... A lot of hi-fi stuff is expensive, uh, and I don't really feel like competing with a cheap audio man for best budget whatever. <laughs> he has been doing an amazing job already, so I don't want to become a channel dedicated to unboxings. I don't want to be a hi-fi person who does the same thing as everybody else. Those guys are already very talented, very established, over 100,000 subscribers for most of them. I believe that they're already doing great work. I want to encourage people to subscribe to everyone. I wish their subscribers would subscribe to me as well. The tide raises all ships. That's all it is, is every fan from every group, if all, of the, all they decided to do was just click on everybody's video just to subscribe, everybody could benefit. Everybody would have over 300. It's just an easy, easy mechanic. There's no, there's no real effort required. Um, we just have each of the groups of, unless the same hundred thousand are subscribing to everyone already, and then in which case the only, the maximum that everybody can have is a hundred and whatever thousand. But Andrew Robinson's got almost three hundred. Zeos reviews almost has, um, actually Andrew Robinson's channel has more than three hundred recently. Zeos almost has 300 and it keeps climbing so there are more people out there to subscribe and I bet you a lot of their viewers don't even subscribe but it all helps see their spawn their channels get sponsored and they get offers from companies because of their numbers because of the traffic because of their viewership because of you guys because of People that enjoy hi-fi that watch, because of those numbers, all their channels, Youth Man, Cheap Audio Man, uh, that home theater, uh, home theater dude, um, 
home theater fanatics, you know, Mike on audio, audio architects, like all of these channels, all these guys that that make content, the Villa Man, you know, uh, all of them, everyone, all of them benefit from the viewership, the subscription, the comments, the traffic, and of course they have to produce content. It has to be fun. It has to be interesting for us to watch. I watch them because I like supporting them. I like the fact that all it takes is a couple of clicks. I watch stuff anyways. And our participation equals a better community. They get paid. They get adventures. I mean, most of my friends now were at Cedia. That's why I did a live video a couple of days ago. Friday night, I decided to use my Friday night time to just see what was going on at Cedia. And I do an Instagram video for my Instagram account. And I know that not everybody watches Instagram and YouTube is more popular and easier for people to watch. So I'm doing this video to just recap what I talked about on Instagram. And I did the live for Cedia on Friday just reacting to what other people were seeing because I can't afford to go down there yet. Their channels afford them the ability to go down and cover, but they didn't cover everything. There's a couple of brands and really good technology that they didn't cover because why? Okay, so part of it is, in my opinion, when you have a channel that is built on a viewership, you have to serve the viewership. Some of them get sponsored so what they do is feature the stuff that sponsors them. So it turns into a narrow view of products and interests based on what works for the channel. Now, because I don't get paid and I don't have any sponsors and I'm not biased because nobody's supporting my channel, just me and what I like. When I go to shows, I shoot everything. I try to capture as much as possible. I have lots and lots and lots of photos from the last three or four years, which I'm going to be putting together in a montage soon. Don't hold me, <laughs> don't hold me to a date, but I'm going to try to do it soon. Just to showcase like all of the stuff that I've seen over the last while, the amazing systems. Um, and just a diff different sort of view on what we're all doing. Now, my effort here is not to compete. Oh, my arm's tired. I did two videos already. My, I, yeah, my role with YouTube and my media content is not to compete with other guys. I don't want to compete with their channels and do what they're doing. I want to help them by adding more to the content. Out of my friends that I watch and all the channels that I've watched, they covered a lot of the same stuff. Even though they're all like in the same group of friends, they all covered the same things. They covered the same TV brands, the same like receiver brands or speaker brands. And now the, those brands have five or six channels covering the same stuff. Meanwhile, Monitor Audio got nothing. PSB didn't really get anything. Theory Audio didn't, I didn't see anything. I mean, it's still early. They're still editing videos, but I didn't see anything from them. Not right off the top so it's like of course we have a community that's expansive and we're all interested in the same stuff but at the same time if you don't have people out there covering the wide spectrum of what's available your choices on terms of what you're watching are limited and I don't really think that's a good idea I think that having a more wide spectrum is better than having like a closed feedback loop that way you get fed the same stuff all the time like does anybody really need to hear about Sony again or Trinov again Trinov doesn't need help anymore Trinov's doing great but if you get the same kind of thing like oh what's this company doing this year this month like it's you know then it just turns into this Android versus Apple thing and then you only have two sides just like you have a bipartisan government system in the states i don't know i think that a limited choice is not that great there's more options out there so in my perspective i'd like to do more i'd like to add more so having said that in this short video 
Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing anything that I've done. Thank you for everything. Just watching. It, it, I really appreciate it. That's what makes this wall work. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to go home. I'm going to rest. And I'll try to come up with another one soon. Stay tuned. Let me know what you think of the video. It's not hi-fi normal, but maybe it's hi-fi important. Let me know. See you guys later.